Hey, what's good, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. I want to come at you today and kind of talk about what fragrance I'm going to be wearing on Super Bowl Sunday. Now, in full disclosure, Kansas City, San Francisco, not a fan of either. I am a Dallas Cowboys fan. Don't say it. We know. We know we're a dysfunctional family. And we so dysfunctional as a Dallas Cowboys. And Jerry Jones is like damn Madea. As soon as everything starts to get right, he just comes and just adds to the dysfunction just to make sure it stays messed up. Yeah, I'm starting calling him Madea because he just is just like that. Just keep blowing it up every time. Talking this, talking that, and it all crumbles down and we all land again next year. It's like, shut up. But on that note, speaking of dysfunctional family, it was a, a fight, the Manny Pacquiao fight. I went to Vegas a while back and I've been a Cowboys fan since the 90s. And I was looking in the department store and I was walking through the MGM Grand and I look in the department store and guess who I see? Michael Irvin. So I go into the store and start to walk towards him and I don't know who the hell he thought I was, but he turned around and saw me and the first thing out of his mouth was, hey, how you been, boy? And I was like, it's hey, been good. Everything's good. He said, oh, and so dap, hug, turn, hey, take the picture before he figured out he don't know who the hell I am and got the picture and hightailed my goofy ass out of there and said, all right, see you later. He said, good seeing you. See you next time. All right, cool. And get the hell out of there before you figure out he don't know my goofy ass. <laughs> so that was one of the fun moments uh, as a Cowboys fan. Now, on the side of that, the fragrance I'm going to be wearing is kind of related to the Cowboys stuff. So we start to look at Silver Blue by Mansira. Blue and silver? Yeah, that. Now, this fragrance doesn't get a lot of hype. I don't believe it doesn't really get talked about a lot and I was surprised when I got it first off there's nothing blue about it at all now I first got it just on a whim just figured I'd try it out and as I tried it out it's like why is this not more talked about than it is because mainly all you need to know is caramel amber and spices that's pretty much it I mean there is some woods in there as well and some other little nuances, but those are the main players. And it lasts as long as the day goes, and it projects pretty damn hard if you go heavy on the trigger to punch in a door. And I would say hot summer, mm, but along the lines of winter, fall, even spring, just go light if it's not too hot. And it is an absolute winner in my eyes. And I am just totally shocked that this just it's kind of just slept on, if you will. It also almost has like a chocolate nuance at some point too. But, you know, the spices, the sweetness, kind of dense, if you will, feel to it. it. It sits a little heavy. But, man, I absolutely love this. And I'm surprised that it just is not, you know, on the radar for most people. And I think because the name has been misleading silver blue because you do get a little bit of silver in there as well some kind of metallic silver kind of feel and it is there but the blue i'm like i don't know where the hell that blue came from there's nothing about this that is blue at all and so maybe that turns people off but sometimes i like a little misleading name it works for me but all in all this is what i'm going to be wearing super bowl sunday my little dallas cowboy silver and blue protest if you will because I dislike the 49ers I don't dislike Kansas City so I guess if I had to choose I want Kansas City to win which almost assures that the 49ers are going to win that's just how it goes and I got to hear all those damn 49ers fans who talk about how now they've won one since Dallas because they hadn't won one since 94 Dallas won to 95 so I always had that over the head yeah, that's probably about to go bye-bye. Just gonna put that on the record. <laughs> but, hey, if you try Silver Blue, let me know what you think about it. If you had a sample, uh, try it again, you know, wear it out and see what you think about it. Or if you have just, 
dislike it, love it, hate it, whatever. Hey, just let me know what you think about it if you happen to try it out. Or get you a sample. Try it out. And see if it's your cup of tea. It's worth a shot. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's all I got. Hey, until next time, hey, y'all be good.